Um, a little bit about myself. Uh, I worked in STEM for a long time, most of my life, inventing school textbooks, uh, technology presentations around the world, America, Singapore, Australia, uh, China. Uh, I'm inventor of crate making systems and crate products limited, inventor of so fast electronics. Uh, licensing opportunities of somebody, but I, I don't want to finish it off. <laughs> I'm getting too old now, I'm retiring rather. Uh, I produce various low cost robots uh, involving Lego, Pickaxe, Flow All, Arduino, and uh, other brands. Uh, recently, I was asked to help with the Open University to design their um, uh, My Digital Life course uh, book, uh, not the book, the kit, sorry. Uh, called My Digital Life, which is used for all students to attend the Open University for computing courses. Uh, now supporting, it's my sort of hobby now, supporting the Raspberry Pi Foundation and my interest really as a sort of retirement hobby. Um, the flags there are the countries that I've got representatives in to sell some of my stuff. Uh, the, the crate system I invented a few years ago, 2002, is, is this little system here, which is ideal for making little kits, cheap kits, instead of Lego, it's cheaper than Lego, and it's a, it's a mechanical system, but it's, it's very unique, got a pattern for the connections, because instead of about 50 or 60 parts of Lego, you only have two parts. The blue one, you'll see, the blue one there, and the green one there. Uh, Want one too. Anybody want one? <laughs> um, I don't. Two there. <laughs> Do you want anybody else? Yeah. Right. They fit with Lego. Uh, they're five millimeter diameter, and uh, the nice thing about them is that it reduces, replaces a lot of other parts. So it's got, it can be bent like that, and uh, so. Get rid of all the other parts and you just get that. And I've never been, I'm not been stuck for anything I can make, from airplanes to submarines to. Uh, basically, it's got those two parts, and then you get, end up with these sort of things, connected like this. You push them in, and you can make anything you like with it very quickly. There's two examples of the kind of thing that I, I that, that sold with it. That one there has sold loads to America. Even NASA bought them from me. Uh, little. little only about fiver for a little, little robot like that, right? Um, so that was um, so that sort of thing I've been going on, and I thought, well, I could apply this to uh, the situation I'm in now with Raspberry Pi work. Uh, I also invented the world's fastest electronic teaching system, uh, which is still not being used because I got stuck with the prices doubling in China in one year, and. Uh, I'm just wondering what to do with it now. But it's got magnets, and you just drop them into place, and it, it's instant. So you can make a circuit in, or a, a robot in about 13 seconds to do a simple circuit like you know, an LED in a you know, one or two little simple bits. It's just 10 seconds or so. To, very, very fast indeed. So um, that has got a little bit stuck on that because of health and safety as well, which means you can't send magnets across the world. Uh, without special permission, so uh, that was a bit of a problem because I was hoping to get an American company to sponsor me that. But anyway, that's, it. that's for further development with a partner. So I can't do it on my own; it's too, too expensive. Um, this is the Open University thing that I—that was my plan for the Open University board, which is based on an Arduino, and that's the one that they actually produce. Not much difference from what I suggested, really. Um, so, a very useful little board, but came out quite expensive by the time they had all the stuff on it. It should have been about 30 quid and ended up over 100 quid. <laughs> so, um, but they're doing a special offer to, for teachers now. Uh, the, the new curriculum's coming in, and that's the sort of main area there. That's my version of it. That has a good, pretty version there, if you like. Uh, the reason I like Raspberry Pi is for all the reasons you, you probably do. Uh, potentially education is great, low cost, small form, complete computer, um, open source, UK, ideal for add-ons, etc. Um, the present work I'm working on, I've developed a, 
One of the problems I found that in schools is that a low-cost banking system uh, like, like this and the others all seem to fail when it comes to sheet materials. Um, they're either too flimsy or too expensive or plastic or too expensive. Or in, so I started developing this thing called I call Super Sheet uh, and uh, it's got to be uh, nice and shiny surface on the outside. It's got to be laminated so it can bend. It's got to act as a hinge when it works, uh, when you score it, uh, and a few other things like uh, push out parts and things like that. So I've developed that, and uh, I'll show you a little bit about that in a minute. The crate system I've already mentioned. Uh, um, to, to support this, I'm halfway through a website that. Uh, We'll put this on, put all this stuff on it. Uh, we also um, have a Kickstarter for a product called uh, Happy, which I'll show you in a minute. So we actually made just just got them this last um, week. Uh, now the super sheet. Right, would you do that normally with your pie? Right. This sort of material is ideal for absorbent and it's a simple, simple sort of case for a pie. Right. Any damage? Can't see anything. Perhaps the light's not good enough. No damage off ground. Uh, but that's, and it's just held together with tape. But the idea is that this finish on that has exactly the same reflective qualities, as far as I can get in production, as the tape. So when you put it on, it doesn't look like tape. You can not see it, right? So when you look at it. Um, so there's just a drop test, if you like. So it protects it, all right? Um, so I'm developing ideas. This was actually the, the, the main video on the, um, the Kickstarter. This, this sound is not working, but um, so it's just that case there, which is that one. A lid on top, if you, if you want the lid on top, uh, and then you can. I made a push-out hole so you can get access to add-on parts as well if you want to, and that allows you on one end to put the uh, a breadboard put your circuits on as well so you can be, then be, so you can stack the dot together and you've got yourself a portable computer for all for a level cost uh, is the bottom bit of all the battery there it is being a little portable computer made with two of these containers uh, right. now there's another hole there you can even put the camera in there and it becomes a camera as well so it all fits in the same box if you wanted to. Going on to robots, you can be using the same sort of idea with robots. Uh, there's one in use. The biggest problem with robots is the batteries, because you need uh, 5.2 for the uh, Pi, and you need another source for the, uh, for the motors. And I found that the easiest way to do it without having extra circuitry, is to use the batteries, the, uh, they call them power banks, you buy for charging up your phones, they, they work, as long as they're at least one amp. And that's the uh, add-on board that we've made to go with it, sort of cheap uh, add-on board, but we tried to make it so that you've still got access to all the pins as well, so you can use it for all sorts of other things as well, like you normally would. So that was what we presented as a Kickstarter video. And these are really just takes from that. Any questions on those things while I'm... Yeah? How much does the animal cost? Uh, we, we haven't decided on things like that yet. We've just done the, the Kickstarter thing and that's all we responded to. What happens after that, we're not sure. Um, So that's the details of the add-on board, if you like. It's got full access to the pins, got an area for protected inputs, and, and you can, on the 
motors at the top, it can be four, four motors controlling speed, or for robot work, uh, too often, but then they can be reversed. That's why it's not down to two, because you've got to reverse them. Uh, okay. The support website, I'm going to make it a little bit of fun. So we've got a little character, Mr. Happy, and uh, he's going to be around, or the Mrs. Happy as well, and the family of Happies. <laughs> Um, and that, these are sort of things that I'm working on last week, was uh, trying to make a sort of symbol for the robot and a sort of symbol for the connecting up, I'm using Scratch mostly. Um, <coughs> and that is about it for my little... <laughs> Any follow up questions? Nothing? You want no, to get home. Is the board going to, what do you call it? Uh, the the add-on board. The board that you make the actual case from, is that going to be available before they start doing the robot wars here? At <laughs> Good question. I don't know how the time is <laughs> going to be. Uh, the trouble is, uh, we've, I'm, I'm the one that's actually using, doing the laser cutting, so it depends on how, far, how busy I am, really. Oh, right. So, but so. can you just buy the board and laser cut it yourself, if you've got a laser cutter at school? Uh, well, I'm not organised for that yet. I, I, I really am not trying to take on more work, my friend. <laughs> not at the moment. But the company that's going to supply this will be a uh, little robot company, and they'll be sort of announcing things when they're ready, right? right. But I'm, I'm just sort of developer, if you like. Okay. Thank you very much for Thank listening. You. <laughs> right. What is the hand up? Yeah, good. Yes. This K R E A sheet. Sorry. Uh, this is a website called Create, yeah. Create.com. This is the material that KSU 2000 is made of. The, the, all, this, all that stuff's on Create's uh, website. Rapid electronic selling in the UK and also. Yeah, the, not, not. But the, the super sheet. Yeah. Is that what the case is made of or not? What is that? I didn't get. What is it? Yeah. Well, uh, it, the, the patent, I've, uh, patent I've applied for can cover lots of materials. But uh, at the moment, it's going to be uh, it's, a, it's a laminated selection of things, with the top being a nice glossy surface uh, to give a hinging effect and to you know, give it a gloss finish. So that's the material the case is made for. Yeah. With. Yeah, it's it's, it's just a, a, a specialist version of, of a cardboard in a way, but most right. of it, all right. And then we put top and the bottom on, uh, and then laser cut it really. But you know, it could be done in other ways. If it became a, a hit, <laughs> it could be done in many other ways. But you know, at the moment we're just doing it like that because I'm doing it at home. Um, yeah. But it's it's amazing, you know, how robust it is, and I, I'm trying to see what I can do it. It might, you know, I, I don't think it's it's it will take off as well as people as it could do because people misunderstand materials like that. They think they're just you know rubbish. But in fact, I've never had a problem with it, and it's you no know, it does you get the strength. By the way you make it, like like on this one, um, I'll sort of take the uh, SD card. That's it. Right, right. It's the by fold, giving it double thickness. There, it's quite strong. You feel that? That's what on the sides. It's not. That's what reason yeah. stiff, isn't it? Um, and it's, it's just enough to give um, for putting in like that. Normally it has one little bolt on there, but I've left that out. So it, I thought you might. Want to see it it's been taken apart. Okay, so that's that's me really. It's, um, I hope that's fine. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>